Welcome to this um, session of two keynote addresses from two extremely distinguished panelists, uh, Danilo Santos de Miranda and Denis Zakharopoulos, and tell us what is the role of arts, uh, of arts in general, in uh, our transforming society, and what is the uh, educational value in particular of arts nowadays. Uh, arts always had a predominant role in uh, uh, all civilizations and uh, in the education of all people. Uh, in many cases has been abused, in many cases has been, uh, has been uh, <clears throat> destroyed, uh, not always created, but in reality art is an act of creation. But uh, without further ado, I think we should hear from those who are really experts in this subject. Danilo Santos de Miranda. Danilo uh, has been the Sao Paulo director of the Brazilian Arts Funding Agency uh, since 1984. And uh, uh, he serves on the board of the Art of the World Switzerland. He is regional president of the International Council of Social Welfare. Uh, and was its president from 2008 until 2010. In recent years, he to speak at conferences around the world. He is uh, an acclaimed author, he is recognized worldwide. So, I mean, I don't think I have to say much more about Danilo himself. We, uh, we hear from Danilo first. Danilo, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. I'd like to thank Adelina von Fustenberg and the organizer of this conference of the was the World Academy of Art and Science. It's a great, great pleasure to be here. The Social Service of Commerce, SESC, is in the state of Sao Paulo, in the state of Sao Paulo, Brazil, a private institution of public interest that I have been directing for over 30 years, has been a laboratory of actions aimed at expanding the context of cultural learning, sharing, and creation. SESC work is based on expanded understanding of culture, covering not only the arts, but also education, health, sport, leisure, and environmental programs, which means a big program of social and cultural welfare. The activities we carry out aim at human development in its completeness, in which education plays an essential transversal and permanent whole covering the different aspects of life. The Ministry of Culture in our country, in Brazil, was extinct in the beginning of 2019. Since then, many social and cultural institutions are defamed and neglected, as well as the artists, and other professionals in the area. The teaching of the arts is currently a fracture present in the structures of knowledge in our community and towards the government. The same happens with science that has been losing investment and being undervalued constantly by the government. We keep facing lies and many scandals threatening democracy. The questioning about the scientific theories that have been repeatedly proven point us to a danger, the ideological and the religious dispute that rises above reason and facts. Besides, the threat to culture proves how the symbolic fields 
play a central role in the debate and how we deal with the social transformation to project in autonomous society. I truly believe culture is a right for every citizen. It means that along with the cultural production inextricable the human life, there must exist a public program that enriches culture as a governmental subject and that shows to the people its importance. And there is more to say, to be said. It is fundamental to recognize cultures in the plural and the plurality is its intrinsic condition. Inequality results in a series of loses of citizenship status that should be guaranteed and in which we depend more than ever. Our days call for urgent responses to demands such as the decent and equal distribution of material and symbolic resources, the cultivation of full implementation of democratic government and fair governance with public interest and the preservation of the environment. The recognition of indigenous knowledge is essential in a historical portrait and more as a guarantee of our own existence, since we know that the way of life of Western society creates the conditions for its own extinction. Likewise, decoloniality, anti-racism and, and gender equality are strategies that must be present to build an horizon that emerges under the sign of solidarity, hope, mutual trust, and social justice. In the book Tremores, the Spanish philosopher and educator Jorge La Rosa reflects on the quality of knowledge about experience. His reasoning starts from the, me the meaning of the word, which give the book its name, Tremors, Tremores. And that describes what happens to us, what goes through us bodily in some way. Let us pay attention to the detail that experience is distinguished from information because it includes a personal affective dimension and therefore it is intimate to knowledge, it helps its construction. Following Walter Benjamin and Edgar Morin with his complex thought, La Rosa proposes that we are currently dealing with a precarious and poor experience of life, which turns into an apathetic posture originating from problem, problems such as the acceleration of the life flows, increasingly excessive workloads, and finally, the replacement of experience with information. Such factor, factors would prevent us from looking, listening, and feeling the world, thus producing an alienated existence, not involved in the destinies towards which humanity, humanity is heading. The primary condition for people to deny reality and the alterity relationship is not noticing the experience, building their own thoughts without scientific basis and without respect for diversity. 
within our cultural reference, it seems to me that the knowledge that still retains the power of experience is manifested in the field of arts. This hypothesis is reinforced in the observation of how we feel when we leave an exhibition, a concert hall, a musical performance, dance, or where one, or we reach the last page of a novel. In this regard, Franz Kafka wrote that a book must be the X that breaks the ICC in us, in an emphatic phrase that highlights the role that art plays in interrupting this state of anesthesia that commonly infiltrates our daily lives. Overcoming the poverty of experience demands the expansion of learning contexts related to the arts, which in turn expands human life as a whole. This means that in addition to formal educational institutions dedicated to these areas, we must foster and boost broader contexts for education, of education and the artistic experience such as cultural centers, museums, concert halls, libraries, community association, among others. Artistic promotion and the multiplication of spaces dedicated to such knowledge will also allow cultural democracy to take effect so that all individuals who make up reality including minorized groups, see themselves represented, share with these symbolic fields, and thus understand themselves as protagonists of the historical process that we experience as, as humanity. The potential of society that can be built in holistic understanding of human experience and the human existence is compatible with the challenge we collectively witness. It is our responsibility to offer answers to the present tasks we face, the viability of existences, subjective, cultural, biological in all the richness of their diversity. Professor Miranda, thank you very much. We appreciate very much that you could spend time with us and uh, give us such a wonderful lecture.